Hey, deserving listeners, 90 Day Fiance. Let's see what happens. Hey, now, yes, How I much have did to... I tell you was the most I could spend for rent? What? How much did I tell you that I could spend on rent? Four zero zero dollars. And how much and did you get the rent was? Five zero zero five, dollars. Five zero. I saw it on the contract. You forgot that I got the contract. It's five fifty. And yet I've still been spending that. I've still been doing it even though it's above my okay. amount. Okay, so we're hearing, I think, Chris is saying, I've still been giving you $400. I just am not able, maybe because I'm not able, or I don't want to because you just bulldozed my preference and got a f place for 550 instead of 400 Now, again, I said this earlier. If maybe Jamie's like, look, nothing is good at $400. I needed to get this other place. Okay, well, then you have a conversation about it, right? So, uh, all right, but it seems, but maybe Jamie will say, no, no, that's not true. We're getting a little bit more detail, which is good. And good. you want to talk about money. Talk to you again. I know we'll talk more. Here's what I will talk to you about. I'm done. I'm done with this bull****. I'm done with you being selfish and all about yourself. I'm sorry I wasn't here for your birthday, but my son comes first always. And I'm sorry I raised my voice, but I'm done. That's right. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. I think this is edited. I think the conversation went on a lot longer, and, but maybe not. And, uh... Okay, but maybe they're not done. So a lot of these individuals will say these things and then they get back together. So I guess we'll see. I could see them getting back, getting back together. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> done. I know listen selfish, to me again. Selfish person It's all about yourself and don't give a about anybody else but yourself. And I'm done. You're so You're immature. You're gonna this for tomorrow. Go yourself. Day. I'm done. Find somebody else to pay your Bills. I don't know if we've ever heard someone say that they're done in such a short amount of time as we have with Chris. <laughs> she says she's done a lot. She, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, and maybe it is the end. Yeah, it's unfortunate, I think. I think they had a shot, but it's too bad. I tried. That's it. I'm done. I'm not talking to her anymore. It's just pointless. Ella me puede alzar la voz y yo no puedo. Que se vaya. Estoy cansada. O sea, así de simple. Can we go now? So, we're in a situation where Chris wants to leave, but is dependent on production to let her leave. We've seen this before. We saw it with Ben and Mahogany, right? That uh, the production of this show will often fail to react quickly enough or literally just get in the way and say, no, Chris, how about you try to work it out? Chris has every right to be able to say, I want to go. <laughs> and I don't think they're in a state where this is going to go well if they are somehow forced to talk, which I'm guessing is going to happen here. She's helping the car, but... Yeah, I suspect, I have no information really, but I suspect that she's like, I want to go. And the producer said, okay, well, give us a second because we've got to do this and that or something. Or, or um, maybe even literally you have to talk to her again or something like that. Because if she had her own car or if there was a taxi, she'd be gone, right? But she's not, which lends me to believe that she's semi being forced to stay. Okay, well, so Jamie walked past. Now they're, she's getting in the car. She'll drive away. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm just worried it'll escalate because it, it often does, and I can't see it not escalating if they are forced to interact. I know one and nothing with her because she maybe she Still say talking. just be quiet. Maybe she say. I love her for your things, or I want... Wait, what? So now they have to travel together? I thought Chris was going to go in a different car than Jamie. So now they have to... Well, maybe they can just be quiet in the car together. I know one and nothing with her. Because she maybe... she Still say, talking. Just be quiet. Maybe she say, I love her for... Yeah, so 
this is where the other individuals involved in this relationship, the production team and uh, uh, the tech people, uh, this is where their role becomes a part of the situation. Uh, for the two of them, not only are they concerned with each other, but they're concerned with how their friends, their colleagues see the situation and it will engage them. It'll prolong the conversation because it'd be one thing if it was just the two of them and Jamie was saying these things and Chris would just be like, I'm going to ignore it. But since Jamie is now triangulating production, it might motivate Chris to chime in and be like, no, that's not true. So this, that's an, ag an aggravating factor here. Your things? Or I wanted your things, and this is not true. Your thing is your thing. I didn't say that one damn time. I don't talk to you. I don't talk to you. Ridiculous. Oh, yes. Ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Get the f away from me. I came over here to be away from you. Get the f away from me. So then when Chris says something like that, it leads me to believe that Chris does have the ability, or at least is under the impression, that she can be alone in a car driving away. So what's happening? Me. I not talk to you. Go away. Go away. What happened? No. Okay, yikes. Wow. So I think Chris is having some trouble regulating. Uh, it looks like hands on are about to happen right now, which is not okay. But at the same time, if someone is telling, if you have the ability, now maybe Jamie's like, no, we're, we both have to go in this car. But if you have the ability to get away and someone's saying that, move away. It, it, don't passively stay in the person's presence just to piss them off or something. Like, I don't, I don't need to go away. Like, no one is going to win by that. Now, Chris is starting to lose it, which is not okay. Um, there's so many other options here. Uh, just deep breaths. <laughs> I don't know. Something. But... Yeah. Now, I'm guessing that people would speculate that she hasn't, because everyone thinks Jamie is, or everyone thinks Chris is this raging addict, and th thus the speculation would be that Chris hasn't had access to her drug of choice or something, because she just arrived in Colombia and would be able to travel with it and didn't get a chance to get her hands on it. You know, I I've heard those speculations. It's possible, but we don't have any data to suggest that, so why suggest it? Be away from you. Get the f away from me. I not talk to you. Go away. Go away. What happened? No. Get the f away. Hey. Stop. Get away. Stop. Share some. Yeah, not okay. Hands on. Not okay. Not okay. Uh, if this is the end, then it's the end of the relationship. But yeah, that was not okay. Crazy. Did you look? This is a crazy, no me. Okay, now, hopefully, production takes them in separate cars. Certainly, they have the capability of that. And Chris goes on her way, and Jamie goes in a different car, and this is over. No sé por qué llegó a ese punto en el que yo vea a Chris a los ojos y vea odio. Soy la mujer con la que supuestamente quieres pasar el resto de tus días. Okay, so good. And yeah, if you've ever, some, some of you may have even been with someone you love, the current relationship that you're in that you feel quite solid in and had moments like this. It might look quite stark, but it's really common to get triggered, to get upset and to trigger each other, to have it escalate and to have hate in your eyes. It, it's not out of the norm, what, what we're seeing right here. So aside from putting hands on, which is not okay. There's so many other things that she could have done. Um, she could have said, okay, Jamie, please, I'm gonna close the door now. I just, I just need you to, you know, there's so many other ways to get what you want, which is to be alone, other than putting hands on, not okay. And I don't know, does this sort of indicate something about Chris that we don't know about, some sort of tip of the iceberg? I don't know. Nunca fue mi intención que ella sintiera odio hacia mí, todo lo contrario. All right. 
Well, that does it for that episode. Everyone, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.